Hi everybody, we wanted to show you a setting today that we think is really important for people who are doing their own bookkeeping. Um, it is important to keep your prior year financial statements from being changed, especially after a tax return has been prepared. Since QuickBooks is a date-driven application, you can um, erroneously, by mistake or intentionally, enter in transactions that apply to a previous year. But when that year has already been closed out and reported on a tax return, subsequently changing a prior year's financial statements causes a lot of problems, period. We find a lot of times when we start a tax return, we can't get that year's tax return to work. And as we start to look di uh, deeper, we find that the previous year's balance sheet and or income statement no longer agrees to the version that we used to prepare that year's tax return. So I wanted to show you how to close your books and keep from making that mistake which just causes time and frustration on everybody's part. So it is a setting. So when you're going to do anything with settings, it's usually here underneath this gear icon. So you choose the gear icon. You're going to come over here to Accounts and Settings. Click that. And the setting is under the Advanced Settings. So right here under Advanced, you can see right here, this close the book setting is set to off. We set it to on. So we click the little toggle to make sure it's on. And then we pick the year that we want to be closed. So in this case, we've done 2019 tax returns. So we are ready for our client's books to be closed as of 2019. So, Matt, so no matter what it is that they attempt to do, whether it's to write a check or enter an invoice or change an invoice date or create a vendor bill, anything that they try and do, they cannot do it with a date of 2019. There are two options here. You can allow someone to make changes after they view a warning, or you can allow someone to make changes after they viewed the warning and entered the password. We choose enter the password. Because a lot of times a client will have something and they just feel like it goes into the prior year and they'll see the warning and they'll think to themselves, I know, but it, but it belongs to a prior year. But at this point, the tax return has been done and unless it is a really significant change in the prior year, we need to book that into the current year. If it is a significant change, you need to talk to your tax preparer about possibly amending a return. So we come in here and we set a password. One of the passwords that we use is do not do this. And you confirm it, do not do this. I don't think I got this right. Do, do not. Let's see if I got that right. Alright, so now if we were to go into these these books right here. Let's just say we were to try and let's try and write a check. So let's say we want to, let's just try an invoice because it's easy to get to. If we were to try and do an invoice and we select a client, Amy's Bird Sanctuary, and we were to try and do that as of 2019 and we'll sell her something, some concrete at a rate of $1,500. If we try save and close this, see it comes up and says double check the transaction date. This is on or before the company's books were closed. Please enter your password. You would have to enter the password right here in order for this transaction to be booked into the year that you closed. You should then instruct your bookkeeper or your employees or anyone who has access to booking transactions that if they get that warning, they need to talk to you or the accountant about why they're trying to date something into a previous year. Um, I would not give the password out to anybody except for those people who are uh, experienced enough and understand the implications of dating something into a prior year. So keep that password to yourself and it will help you with inadvertent errors that people make by putting in the wrong date. Sometimes people just do it uh, without thinking. When the year changes in January and everything is 2020 and suddenly it's 2021, it takes a while for people to get out of the habit of doing 2020. So it's a good practice to keep these kinds of errors out of your financial statements. So 
that was the, uh, the video that we wanted to show you guys today. I hope that helps everybody figure out how to keep the books clean.